yes uh, in this video we are going to see uh, about the structure of the linked list and some of the operations of the linked list first let us say uh, what is the structure of a linked list a linked list already we have seen it consists of nodes arranged in sequential order so if you see that see A linked list is nothing but it's like this. It consists of a node, okay, and a node consists of two fields. One is information field, and another one is the next field. Where in the next field, uh, it points to the address of the next next node of the same type. So this is what we have seen by uh, the node in the linked list. So a node consists of this is a node a node consists of information field and a next field where in this next field you will be writing the memory location of the next node which is of the same type so this can be represented uh, in uh, c++ like this so you can use the data structure struct struct to declare a uh, node of this type so we have given the name struct node and then uh, data, uh, the first field it is a data and we said here to be it will you can will be able to store the integer. Then node star next where node is uh, which is of the same type and then a pointer. So this will be a pointer field which is nothing but it is used to store the memory location. And since we have given node it recursively it creates another node which is of the same type where the, again it consists of uh, first field consists of data and the next field will be a memory location. So this is how you declare a C++, uh, you, you declare a linked list node in C++. Now this uh, linked list a node is declared along with its operation by declaring a class called linked list as follows. So you can, uh, you, uh, you, the, in programming you will be declaring a class called linked list and then uh, that is normally you will be declaring using a structure but uh, if I want to declare it using a class you can declare like this so class linked list then you have um, no star head and then public linked list consists of uh, this um, that is you are uh, using the constructor you are initializing head to consist of null that is uh, initial pointer it will be made to null so that it points to nothing. So then you have uh, the, these are all the member functions which you are going to write in that details. Add node first, add node last, node middle, and then delete first, delete log, delete middle, traverse, search. So what do you mean by this? Add node first, add node last, add node middle. In the linked list. You may add the date uh, if you want to add or uh, if you want to insert a new element. You there are three places where you can input. Either it is you will be want to insert it as the first node or as the last node, or you may want to insert it in between. That is in the middle. That is why we are writing three separate number functions. The same way delete the first. You may want to delete the first node, last node, or in the uh, middle somewhere in the middle. Then traverse list, if you want to go through oh, the whole of the traverse, whole of the list. Then search, given the value, you want to search the uh, linked list whether that value is present or not. Then update, if you want, you may want to update an existing value. So first we will see traversing the list. What do you mean by traversing the list? This is the given linked list, imagine. So it has uh, four nodes. The first node we have stored the value h, then the next e, a, p. So this pointer is pointing to the memory location of this. This pointer is pointing to the memory location of this, and so on. And the last will be the null pointer. And you have head, and uh, head is the one which is pointing to the starting node. So what we are doing here is we are assigning another uh, variable called temp, which is of the type. Uh, node. So here what we do is we declare like this node star temp which is where already we have declared node to be of that structure. So we declare we here we assign a variable called temp and we declare it to be of type node. Then we assign the head pointer 
to be temp. So for example, if it is stored in 200 location, now after assigning this, temp also will have the value 200, which means it is also pointing to the first node. If the memory, it, both are pointing, head and temp, TMP are pointing to the first node. Now, uh, with using this only, we are going to traverse. Because if you use head, using head, if you traverse, say for example, in the first, you will be printing H, then you move head here, then you will be printing E and so on, but you will lose the previous nodes. If you move the head, because always head is pointing to the starting of the node. If you move this head node, head pointer uh, to move, to point to the next, next node, which means you lose these nodes. So, but our aim is not to do that. We have, we still, we must have the linked list. So what we are doing is we are assigning that TMP. That is, we are assigning the temporary pointer to head and then using this pointer only, we move to the next next. So if you see that while temp is not equal to null, initially temp is pointing to the head node. Okay, this is the way. So while temp is not equal to, now it is not equal to the temp is not equal to null. It is having some memory location uh, that is, uh, and it is pointing to some memory location, which is not null. Then you print the value. So now it will be printing the H. Then what we do, we move the temp pointer to point to the next one. So how you can do that? By making temp equal to temp next. Previously temp is that. Temp is, temp next, it has, you can access the two uh, fields like using like this. One is temp hyphen data. Data is nothing but this. Another one is temp, this uh, pointer symbol then next. So you will be able to access these two fields individually by using this notation. So now it is accessing. So you are moving the pointer to this, temp to this by making, assigning this address to this temp. So that is what here we are in temp equal to temp next. In, uh, likewise you keep do, then when it becomes temp equal to null, when it becomes null, when it reaches the last node. So in that case, this will be temp equal to temp next. In this allocation, it becomes null. So when it checks, it becomes null and it quits. So this is how you traverse the whole list and in between value you print. So that is what temp data is nothing but this and temp next is this. And then like this, you are assigning, moving the pointer and you are able to print the data.